to get those cactus. This is the Sonoran Desert. Hi, how you doing? Glad you could make it. Glad I made it. I'm, I left Indian Bread Rocks because I've been there 14 days and as the law, I leave. That's the, and I can't go back for 30 days, although I'm not going back there ever again. Um, some weird thing was going on around there where there was a low vibration, like a humming. And it reminded me of a locomotive when it's, it's sitting still on the tracks, but it's still running, so you get the vibration. And it was off in the distance somewhere. I don't know if there was like some machinery going or they had a coal mine working or something, but yeah, the whole time I was there, it was just that low humming and vibration, which I do not like. I don't like bass from cars, and I don't like diesel engines because it makes me sick. It makes me... Anyway, so I had that going on for me. That was fun. <clears throat> and of course, I went into a store today. And they, I had a, a handkerchief that I usually wear, double layer, whatever. And the guy said, that's not good enough no more. You got to put this freaking thong looking thing on face diaper. I was like, dude, I don't need it. I don't want it. Got my, I was pissed. I, I dealt with it because I needed the, I needed what they had. To, I, I came into your shop as a customer. I'm being treated like a dumbass. And I'm like, dude, I, told, I was pissed. I said, everybody, I was like, this is bullshit. I said, you guys know this is bullshit, right? It's like, if you can still smell a fart, <clears throat> excuse me, then you can still get COVID. This is for when you walk into a hospital where you have people that are super hyper sensitive to diseases and stuff. And they're like low anemics and stuff like that. That you wear these face masks keep your germs from them so we're all surrounded by germs anyways remember how they used to tell your kids to roll in the mud and, da -da -da and get them dirty that way they get immune to the you know now everybody's a pussy i'm sorry i'm just like live your fucking life people who that just i have a stress headache a little bit i'm i'm driving i got pulled over yeah i got pulled over as i was leaving indian bread rock i couldn't leave fast enough um no registration and no insurance this guy was super awesome. I'm just going to say that. It was a sheriff. Thank God it wasn't the highway patrol. It was sheriff. And he took my ID and I, you know, he goes, I, I told him straight up. I said, I have to go all the way back up to Oregon just to smog it so I can register it. And I was on my way. And he's like, okay. And he went and did like 10 minutes, right? I thought I was going to take it. I'm like, oh, dude, he's writing some shit up. <laughs> I see him coming back. I hear a door slam and I look in the rear and I see him come back without a clipboard. I wasn't going to say nothing. I wasn't going to get all hopeful, but he came back and he's still talking. He goes, he goes, why did, why the California ID? I'm like, well, the driver's license, because I'm from California, but I went up to Oregon to hang out with my grandson and my son, and that's where I purchased my vehicle. So he was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. He was like, I was kind of wondering about that. But he's all, yeah, just have it taken care of. Woo! <laughs> yeah, they, he could have been an asshole, because they're out there. Not every cop is a good cop, right? So, yeah, that's my day. I love my sister Deanna. I'm gonna say it right now. She bailed me out. I was I was in a bind. She's my financier. She's my she's the person when I blow up and I get large. My whether it's my art or my just beauty or whatever, that woman is gonna be rolling in it. That's all I gotta say. That's all I'm gonna say about that. I love my sister. Anyway, <clears throat> and here I am in the Sonoran Desert, and I'm headed back to Quartzsite. Um, I have to. I need a place to stay where I'm not worried about moving. And there's a permanent residence there. I just have to hop around to three different sites that are within miles of each other. So it's not like I have to drive, you know, an hour or two out of my way to go to another. And that's kind of what it was coming down to. It's, it's The further I get in, go east, the less BLM there is. And so you're going hundreds of, like, three, four hundred miles out of your way just to get a night's sleep. So I'm going back to Quartzsite, and I'm going to <clears throat> hopefully get some sleep because I was not sleeping well there. Indian Rock, it was just that humming, that vibration was weird. But yeah, and I just, my sleep was too broken. I mean, at least at Quartzsite, I remember getting really good sleep. That was the one thing I was like, man, I slept really good there. So I'm going to go back and see if I can't continue that for a minute and get some sleep because my body's not working well. I'm going. Just so you know, my, my time here is limited. So if somebody's out there crushing on me, you're falling in love, you might want to make a phone call because I'm telling you, I don't have much time. And that's all I'm going to say about that. So get off your ass, quit being chicken shit. Nobody's too good for nobody. I mean, even if it's just a conversation, I can be friends with people. You know, you don't have to go out and start humping legs and shit, right? You just talk. You start by making a conversation. I'm just saying, man. The more you, the more I'm, I'm suffering because I'm alone. 
I'm hugging a pillow, and I'm sure so are you, whoever you are. So quit hugging the pillow, make the phone call, send that text, let me know you care, and we'll see what happens. I don't know. But I'm into chicks. I'm not into dudes. Sorry. <laughs> I just, I know the pretty paintings and stuff, but <clears throat> yeah, I like women. Vaginas. Pussy. Hey, this is an adult channel. It's my channel. And I'll say, I love pussy. I love to talk about pussy. I mean, <clears throat> ladies, take care of your stuff. Please, that's all I'm going to say about that. Because we love you. And we want to be able to adore you in every way. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, that's enough about that. Anyway, <clears throat> so, like I said, my time here is limited. Take advantage of the opportunity while I'm here. Because you don't want me crying over spilt milk and looking at my grave going, that dumb son of a bitch. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. I'm just feeling it. I'm, right now, I'm getting my ass kicked psychically in every other way. But luckily, you know, I had some good juju still going because that cop could have really laid it into me. So, But I do need to get that thing registered. I love you. And an oil change, which I had to go get some oil and a filter. I'm going to see if I can't do that. It'll be fun. Okay, anyway, I'm going to go enjoy my day and see if I can't stay out of trouble. And then tomorrow, take off the quartz and quartzite and, you know, lay roots. You know, pitch a tent. Anyway, I love you. God loves you. And the universe is just crazy about you. You're sexy. You don't even know it. That's all right. Most people don't know how hot they are. It's insecurities. But you are all that. So I'm rooting for you. Anyway, I'll let you go. Beautiful sunshine and Sonoran Desert. I love you. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.